people think they have the right to blow up people going to nightclubs and to blow up those fleeing from the first blast, as seems to be the case, then I'd say you have a choice in front of you. Hello guys, what's up? Hi guys, I hope you guys are feeling good. Welcome back to the show. Now do tell you like real simple. We're gonna be checking a quick one by Douglas Murray, where he demolishes an arrogant leftist with her own word. It will be a quick one, uh, with no further ado, let's just bounce and let's check it out. Let's go. People think they have the right to blow up people going to nightclubs and to blow up those fleeing from the first blast, as seems to be the case, then I'd say you have a choice in front of you. Has the UK become a terrorist target because of its culture or because of the actions of its government abroad? The, cause the answer of the is that the cause of the terror is Islamist fundamentalism which is a version of Islam, a politicized version of Islam, which is wreaking havoc across the globe and has been doing so for many years, and which was aiming to uh, attack this country and our allies before the invasion of Iraq, before the invasion of Afghanistan, and indeed even before 9-11. That is the truth. Yep. Um, are British troops in Iraq there for military reasons? Because there's only 5,000 of them, and I don't think they can fight against 100,000 or 150,000 Mahdi army people of why fundamentalists turn on this country specifically because as a target. Because they hate this country and they hate our allies and they hate the West. Uh, and if you, don't, if you don't believe me, listen, at least do them the decency of listening to what they say themselves. Read the Hamas Charter. Read what Mr. Bin Laden says. Read what the Muslim Brotherhood would do in this country. Read it and okay. believe them. Should the West now have a more sympathetic approach to Hamas in light of their involvement in the release of Alan Johnson? Well, um, <laughs> the answer is no. Of course not. <laughs> I don't know who it was who was booing in the audience. I don't know who the Hamas supporter is in the audience there. Hamas is a terrorist organization which makes a fetish out of the murder of Jews. Let me tell you what these people were doing just a couple of weeks ago to their own co-religionists in the Gaza, where they went to their next door neighbors and threw people off buildings and shot people in the back when they were running away. And you think now this is a rehabilitated organization because they posed for the release of a journalist. Why should we be negotiating with a terrorist organization? Because if we go easy on Hamas, surely they're just going to be pushing their borders further and further, Absolutely. using more terrorist techniques until they get what they want. Um, I think it has to be recognized that uh, the suffragettes were a terrorist group. Nelson Mandela was a terrorist group. Thank God we negotiated with them. Thank God we got democracy for them. I think we absolutely need to be sympathetic to the Palestinian people. This is like the longest occupation in modern times. Yeah. Why would normal people decide to support like a terrorist group? It's because Gaza they feel like they've got no other options. That, and we have supported yeah. Israel okay. for so long and for way, way too long. Gaza is not occupied. And to make the equivalent between the suffragettes, the suffragettes never got onto a bus and tried to blow it up and kill as many people as possible. If they did, women might not have the vote. Gordon Brown was supposed to listen to the people. So isn't it time he listened to the vast majority of university students and abandoned tuition fees? Should he? Ever since the 9-11 happened, um, UK has actually caught ties with the US because they are not used to that kind of lifestyle and welcoming immigrants and making immigrants cause that kind of problem. Now, nah, it really got you UK um, really angry. And Douglas Murray, I've been trying to say this. He has been saying this. He has been announcing this. The immigration has to be controlled. Immigration has to be checked in. This thing has to be controlled every and every single time. But this is a question being asked, and I like the way Douglas Murray answered it. Like, he gave me this kind of chill. Like, man, I really love this. <laughs> I love the way he answered him. And if you liked it, um, let me know what you think in the conversation. I'll be coming back with a lot of clips. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep watching and watch out for more. Peace and God bless you.